What's up guys, it's Fox the Lost Freedom Gaming, and today I'm going to be talking about Fallout 76 once again. And with it, I want to show you guys something. Now after watching that, one of two things is going to be going through your head. One. That is awesome. Do it again. Two. Oh my god, violence in video games. <laughs> Screw that one. But, the thing that I have a question for is mostly not for you guys, but for Bethesda in Fallout 76. How in the flying fuck are you going to balance that? One of the things that I get asked by my friend Paul a lot is why is the AA-12 not included in more video games? The A12 being a fully automatic 12 gauge shotgun with a drum mag typically built into it. And I say to him, 9 times out of 10, it's ridiculous to balance. It's either you make it really good and it's the only gun that anyone ever uses, or it's Modern Warfare 3 where the gun is dog awful on damage. In Fallout 76, it has been confirmed by Todd Howard during an interview with YouTube that VATS will be making a return, but it's going to be in real time. His words were, were not everyone is good, as a, good at a Twitch shooter, this will compensate for that. So if you make your character a really high VATS build, and... You equip him with a fat man. And say you're walking along. Say you were that gunner that took the mini nuke to the face on a critical hit. How pissed off would you be when all your... I don't know if the loot will be lost that you have on your inventory. But all, like, your, whatever you were doing was just gone in half of a second. And... I... I've been thinking about this since they told, told us about PvP. Now, Todd Howard did say that there is private world, so hopefully that means you'll be able to avoid PvP and just play co-op with your friends, which is what I really hope is going to happen, because otherwise it's going to be bad. Now, I have in my Steam inventory, I have Rust, I have DayZ, I have other games that I'm not quite privy on right now thinking of the names and I don't play those games typically because of the PvP I'm not a uh, if I want to play PvP I'll go on Battlefield <laughs> or Grand Theft Auto that's just PvP central but when you when you have a game where the universe includes shoulder mounted tactical nuke launchers and actual intercontinental ballistic missiles that you can just drop on somebody's head on a whim. Now I know you have to collect the collect the launch codes, but someone's gonna figure out how to do that in half of a second. We have YouTube. It's not like the days of Grand Theft Auto Vice City where you mostly had to figure yourself out or buy a cheat code book. I remember buying cheat code books all the time. It was awesome. But when you have Vats, something that can be stupidly powerful at the same time as being bad, because sometimes your bullets will just go and miss completely. When you can get a 95% chance to hit somebody in the head and then hit a critical that'll guarantee it'll hit them in the head through any surface at any distance, with the ability to destroy half of a city block that develops multiple issues when it's a multiplayer game. Now, I don't know if they're gonna have some form of nerf towards the Fat Man, or they're just not gonna have the Fat Man at all, but then they still have the nuclear missiles that you can just launch and just <laughs> send somebody back to the Stone Age. One of... I, I don't... I, I'm really hoping what Todd Howard said during that interview was true with the private worlds, because this game, I don't feel, I feel like I am never going to enjoy the PvP in Fallout. 
because while I love Fallout, I have been playing it for years. In no way, shape, or form was I hoping for PvP. Because the weapons are ridiculous, and I, that was, I'm pretty sure that was made of a point when they were made to be ridiculous. I mean, you have to admit, the first time you got your hands on a fat man, you thought it was the coolest thing ever. You fire a small football sized object, and it decimates everything within a 40 mile radius. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. But, you weren't thinking, maybe I could nuke somebody into the ground with this. Or, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'd be launching it in a close quarter situation so there's a vault. But, if, in video games, one of the things that I, I, one of the reasons I don't play Rust, I don't play... Uh, a couple of other games, I forget, I'm not even thinking of them, about them right now, I don't play DayZ, stuff like that, is because I could work for hours on something, and it's some, one of the things that I really enjoy about Fallout 4 is building, I love the, I, I love the building aspect of Fallout 4, but when, if I build for three hours, and then someone comes along and nukes me, and I lose those three hours, I'm not going to be a happy person. <laughs> I am going to probably throw something because I worked for three goddamn hours for nothing. Now, with what Todd had said, the private servers will have modding support. Now, right off the gate, like most of the Bethesda games, you probably won't have access to the GEC. So, that's a thing. Now, going from there, if there's private servers right off the gate, that'll be awesome because we we won't have I won't have to deal with other players coming in and destroying me because there, you know there's going to be people that are just going to be that'll play it for hours on end and have X01 power armor or whatever power armor was the guy was wielding the 50 with and possibly a 50 because you know that thing's going to be ridiculously powerful <laughs> if you walk out of the vault there is i can almost guarantee you there will be unless there's some sort of safe zone set up in the game where you can't get killed right out the gate right out the doors of vault 101 or sorry vault 76 you can't just get murdered right there there's gonna be that one jerk off who will just stand there. It'll be uh, the dark zone in the division where people are were originally just standing in front of the door and waiting for you to walk through and just mow you down with MP5s and vectors. And I don't, I don't know if this, this stuff's gonna work. All I know is I'm really hoping they can manage to figure out a good way of balancing this now that's this is not me saying I hate the game I don't I'm gonna buy the game I'm gonna play the hell out of the game because I love Fallout and I'm willing to give it a try if the if if we don't get private servers I'll have to deal with it and there will be videos on my channel of me probably complaining about not having private servers. Now, I am going to be playing with another friend, and I don't know if that means that uh, we'll be more powerful. As well, it's they said that the that the game would be easier with more than one person. If you're running solo, you're gonna have a hard time. Maybe not the hardest of times. You could probably build your character to be max endurance and build him to wield miniguns more powerful than everybody else and you can take care of yourself but I'm going to probably be rolling with one of my friends who is planning to get the game and 
it might be a little bit different as that. Uh, now I've I've ranted on for a little bit longer than I wanted to. I'm starting to lose track of my thoughts now. So I'm going to leave the video. Now I want to know what you guys think down below. If you guys agree with me that there's that this is going to be a, a tad bit ridiculous, leave a comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. And if you like what you see, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be covering Fallout 76 extensively once it comes out. And if I get a chance at the beta, because I already have it pre-ordered, I'm, I'm probably going to get a chance to get the beta. I'm going to have it, have videos up for you. So, if you guys want to see them, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button, because YouTube's algorithm, algorithm is screwy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.